Hello! Welcome back to my channel. For those of you returning, welcome back. I'm glad to have you back. And for those of you who are new to my channel, welcome. I really appreciate all my subscribers. Let me just say, and welcome to those of you who are new. Go ahead and touch that subscribe button and then touch the little bell to the right and then touch all and you'll be notified whenever I post a new video. So in today's video, I am making a tornado omelet or at least I'm attempting to, it's my first time. And I was going to make chocolate coffee Kahlua ice cream as well but I ate the whole omelet and I don't have room for anything else if you want to see me see the recipe for the chocolate coffee Kahlua ice cream let me know in the comment section below but uh, that's enough chatter remember subscribe subscribe like share comment uh, but without any further ado let's get into today's recipe now we I'm going to take my oil that's one tablespoon of oil I'm gonna let this skillet heat up and while my skillet heats up here in this ramekin I have one tablespoon of ketchup one tablespoon of oyster sauce one and a half teaspoons of soy sauce one teaspoon of white sugar and one teaspoon of mirin and uh, we're going to mix this together until the sugar dissolves because I don't want this to slow down my process at all and let's see here that should be sufficient Now to my skillet, I'm going to add my, this is half a sweet onion. Half a sweet onion, quarter cup of diced mushrooms, quarter cup of carrots and peas frozen. And I'm gonna let this cook and I'll be right back. Okay, now my veggies are done sufficiently. And next I have butter. And the recipe did not call for garlic. However, garlic's gonna be awesome in here. So let's add the butter and the garlic. Oh, that smells wonderful. Next, we're going to we have two cups of rice. Now, this rice has been in the fridge, so it's cold. We're gonna break this up, stir this in. When you're making fried rice, your rice should always be um, cold. It should be at least from the day before. That's the key to making good fried rice. Make sure we break it all up. And next we are going to add and I don't know if I failed to mention there's also one, I think I did mention one teaspoon of white, salt, white sugar in here. So next we we add our sauce. And I'm going to continue to fry in this. This skillet is on medium heat. Stir in 
our I'm going to stir add my shrimp that's about a quarter cup of shrimp and I chop those and we're going to add in about an eighth of a cup of scallions oh you should smell this fried rice okay now my rice is done so now you turn this off and I have two bowls that have been sprayed with nonstick spray I'm gonna scoop this out put it transferred to my bowls where we're gonna kind of sort of pack this, pack the rice into the bowls, like so. Okay, so this is enough rice. It makes two omelets. Let's do the second bowl here. Oh, I can't wait until this is done. Okay, let me get these bowls packed and I'll be back. Okay, now while my skillet heats up, I'm going to try to flip the rice out of the bowl onto this plate. So, turn it upside down like so. And flip it over. And the bowl is sprayed with nonstick spray, remember? Ah, it's perfect! My rice turned out perfectly. Now for the last step of this recipe here. Turn that down a little low. I have four eggs here that I've, I've beaten. And I'm going to add two eggs at a time. Roll it around the pan. Take two chopsticks. Pull the edges in together like so. And rotate the pan. Rotate the pan. And this is my first time making a tornado omelet. We'll see how she turns out. <laughs> She's looking a little ugly little oogly nevertheless we proceed i'm gonna keep turning 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 and we cook it slowly and i'm gonna let that set hope i haven't messed up my tornado oh dear let me see if i can get a little, no, I better leave that alone, just like that. Leave them alone. <clears throat> to finish cooking the egg, I'm just going to twirl it around on the outside of the pan. Now, I'm supposed to be able to, it's not quite done to my liking, I want that egg mixture to cook a little more. I know how I want to do that. Put a lid over it, and that's gonna help it steam in there. It'll help cook the egg a little more. I'll be back when this is done. Okay, now let's see if I can slide my omelet out of the pan and over on top of the rice. Okay. It's not. <laughs> it looks okay. All right, let's 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 cook the other egg and see if I can get the other one. 
to turn out a little better. There's a, there's an art to this. Here is my tornado omelet. It doesn't look like um, quite like I wanted it to, but I think I did a good job for my first time. However, let's taste this puppy because the proof is in the pudding. Let's see. Open your tomato omelet. The rice is inside. Let me see. Let me taste this. Got a little shrimp, a little egg. Let me see. Mmm. That's delicious. My tornado. Oh my god, it's good. <laughs> didn't quite form like I wanted it to. I think I did pretty good for a novice. Tornado egg maker. But I have to tell you, it's still delicious. Okay. Now, this is part one of the meal that I'm having before I start my New Year's eating plan. So let's get on, let's go to the next uh, phase of this decadence. Okay, that's it for today's recipe. A full list of ingredients will be listed in the description box below. Thank you for stopping by again, and let me know in the comment section below if you tried this recipe. I'll see y'all. Have a good day.